Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Prakash from Visual Physics Tutor, the finest place to learn physics in the most easiest and simplest way. So today we will be dealing with the concept related to the principle of superposition of electric charge and it can be also called as Coulomb's force due to a number of point charges. So here we can assume an xy plane So I draw an xy plane over here so Now this is x and here it is y So we can consider this is the origin O here Let me consider here a charge Q1 and let the charge be at a distance of R1 vector that means the position vector is R1 vector now let me assume another charge Q2 here so let uh, Q2 be at a position vector R2 cap R2 vector, so not R2 cap and let us consider another charge Q3 at a position vector that is R3 Now it means that we are considering three charges Q1, Q2, Q3 placed in two dimensional plane. So now let us consider that what will be the force on Q1 due to Q2. So I can write here force on Q1 due to Q2. So this can be represented as F12 is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R12 square. So in vector form this can be written as F12 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R12 square R12 cap. Now the unit vector is in the direction of R12. So we can see that now here the Q2 exerts a force on Q1. So what will be the direction of the force? The direction of the force will be this way. Please check the diagram here. It will go this way. So here I can write this is F12. Now similarly you can take the force on Q1 due to Q3. So force on Q1 due to Q3. So this can be also written as F13 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q3 by R13 square. Now in vector form this can be written as F vector 1 3 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q3 by R13 
square r13 cap so you can see here now the force exerted by q3 on q1 will be in this direction so now this can be written as f13 vector so now you can see that here to find the resultant of these two vectors that means on q1 what is the total force acting we can apply the parallel program law of vectors so i can draw a resultant here so the resultant will go this way now i can join this over here and i can join this over here that means the net force on q1 will be we can write it as f vector is equal to f12 vector plus f13 vector so now we can just substitute this equation and this equation and considering for n number of point charges so we can write the equation as 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q1 q2 by r12 square r12 cap plus q1 q3 by r13 square again we can write in vector notation here so it is r13 cap plus q1 q2 here i can write not q2 so it's qn by r 1n square r 1n cap close the bracket so we can see here that the force on one charge say q due to the other charges can be obtained by performing a vector addition of the forces due to other charges and this method of addition of forces is termed as the principle of superposition in electrostatics so hope you had understood this derivation and thanks